Hello, welcome to this lesson of Mastering 5th Grade Math. Here we're going to continue learning how to add fractions, but here we're going to be focusing on adding mixed numbers. You can call them mixed numbers, you can call them mixed fractions. Uh, whatever you call them, we want to add something like 2 and a half pies to 3 and a fourth pies. We want to be able to add those together because it's very practical. It's very common when you'd have a mixed number of something. Three and a half candy bars, ten and a half bananas. And you want to add that to four and a third Coke cans or something. And anyway, you have two mixed numbers that you want to add together. Now, there are two main ways to add them together. They both work fine. In this section, we're going to talk about the first way. And in the next section, we'll cover the second way. So let's get an idea of what we're talking about. What if we're trying to add two mixed numbers? two and a third, that's how we write that mixed number, and we're adding to it three and a third. All right, so we're adding these together. Well, think about it in terms of pies or pizza. This is two and a third pizza, so you have two full pizzas plus another third. Here you have three and a third pizzas, which means three pizzas plus another third. So you have, you have two whole pizzas here, three whole pizzas here, and then you have another third of a pizza and another third of a pizza. So the first way I'm going to tell you that you can do these things is you can add the whole numbers together, and then you can add the fractions together separately. All right, so let's go ahead and practice doing that. If we add the whole numbers together, 2 plus 3 is going to give me 5. And then we want to add the fractions together. Well, we already have a common denominator, so the 3 can remain because it's common. And then 1 plus 1, we can add the numerators as we have always been doing, is 2. And the answer to this guy is 5 and 2 thirds. It makes sense to you that if you have two pizzas here and three pizzas here, you're going to have five whole pizzas, right? Then we need to add the fractional parts. Here's a third, here's a third, so we'll have two thirds. So if we add everything together, we should have 5 and 2 thirds. It makes total sense. So in method number one here of adding mixed numbers, you simply add the whole numbers together and you add the fractions together separately and, and basically it's straightforward. All right, so let's go ahead and do the next one. What if we have 2 and 1 third plus 3 and 1 fourth? 2 and a third, 3 and a fourth. All right, so we want to add these together. We know that we can add these whole numbers together, but we're going to run into a problem because these fractions, the 3 and the 4, we don't have the same denominator, so that's going to cause us a problem. So the way I want to show you to handle this is, before we start adding anything together, we know we can add these, but before we do that, let's Let's handle the fractional part. We have a 3, we have a 4. So what common denominator can we choose? Well, we have to work on both fractions, and 3 and 4, immediately what should jump in your head is 12. 12 is something that 3 will go into, 4 will also go into it. So I can then take this first fraction and change it. The 2 stays the same, that, that is just the number of whole pizzas I have. The 1 third, I'm going to transform it. And I'm going to transform it by multiplying the top and the bottom by 4. The reason I'm doing that is because it'll make 12 on the bottom. And so what I'll have is 2 and 4 twelfths. 1 times 4 is 4, 3 times 4 is 12. 2 and 4 twelfths is exactly the same thing as 2 and a third. All right? And then I'm going to do the same sort of thing to the bottom. The 3 will come along for the ride. The 1 fourth will come here, and then I need to multiply this bottom number by 3 and the top number by 3 in order to give me 3, 3 on the top, 12 on the bottom. 3 and 3 twelfths. Alright, what have we done? We have changed 2 and a third into this fraction. We've changed 3 and a fourth 